Saturn is a gas giant, so it doesn't have a solid surface to land on. But still, despite that fact, that should not make us think that it is impossible to live there. Actually, it is pretty much accomplishable and might even happen sometime in the far future. So sure, we won't have a base to make on its surface since there is no surface. But we could pretty much make a special space station and make it go inside Saturn. This space station should then go to the layer of Saturn's atmosphere that is just above all the clouds, since there things would be up close and nice. What is most important about this space station is that it would have to go around Saturn at a speed that is at least 35 kilometers per second. Since then, the space station would achieve escape velocity and the station would not fall down towards Saturn. Gravity would not be a problem pretty much if that speed is achieved. But this also means that people inside the station around Saturn would float around just like they do on the International Space Station. In fact, living on Saturn in these most achievable conditions would be pretty much like living in the International Space Station. So these humans living inside Saturn would go around the whole surface over and over all the time. They would see many sunrises. Now here is how this life will be somewhat different here. Well, people in this station would need to sustain themselves completely. There would be no help from Earth, since the Earth would be from that station on Saturn a billion kilometers away. So if something goes wrong, that's it, there is no one saving them. Because of this, the station would need to produce its own food, reuse the same water, and create oxygen through water. Now water would not be too much of a hassle to get, since whole rings of Saturn are mostly just water ice. And there are also many moons of Saturn, which on the surface have lots of water ice. And there is even Enceladus, which has liquid water under its surface. So the people on the station could always organize missions to get the water either from Saturn's rings or from Saturn's moons. Now these people would also need to produce their own food. And the only current way to do that is through producing a terrarium which is a closed system that is self-sustainable. All it would need is a bit of water and normal air and then the system would need to be sealed completely. Here edible plants could be planted and the people on the station would have food. Now another big problem would be lack of experience in gravity. We humans were adapted over billions of years to live with gravity that is something pushing us down and the sudden change of that is not very good for the whole structure of the human body. Now because of that, this space station would need to at least have some part of it where it simulates gravity. The easiest way to do it is by spinning a certain part of the station. Now what this whole crew would most likely do is of course some science experiments. They could inspect with various instruments the core of Saturn, see what it's made of, is it really solid and other things. Of course, they could get to inspect clouds and the atmosphere very comprehensively. We would get a chance to completely understand the whole planet Saturn. Apart from that, we would also get amazing up-close shots of what is going on on Saturn. Who knows how amazing would Saturn's clouds look so up-close, since even from space they look pretty great. The auroras present on the poles of Saturn would also be there and we would get some pretty colorful pictures there. And if there is a mission to Saturn's rings, then we would finally get to see up close pictures of them. It would be the first one taken there. So despite the fact that Saturn is not solid, as we can see living there would actually not be that bad at all. And the missions there could reveal to us a lot of things.